Storm Tracker weather starts now with Chief Meteorologist Curtis Grevenance. Okay, welcome back everybody. Happy Friday to you all. Starting uh, this forecast off up on top of McDonald Pass. So some sun, of course, several inches of snow. It was a bit sloppy there this morning. Look at some of that snow on the ground across the central part of the state. Uh, Geyser and the Highwood Mountains and uh, even the Bozeman Pass area, a little fresh snow. Boy, today certainly was a springy day with rain and snow and sun and Look at that to reduced visibility looking out across the Helena Valley with another pretty good shower coming through here. 45 degrees, chilly north wind at about 15 miles per hour. Nice soaking rain last night and today in the valley. Did mix in with a little snow at times, but it was as much as 6 to 10 inches of snow in some of the higher terrain around town. Some of that cooler air where we've got more clouds and precipitation. A little warmer up towards the north here because of lighter precipitation or even no precipitation, but uh, still a big shield of rain across the eastern part of the state and look at all the showery weather coming through. There's that shower that we were just looking at crossing the Helena Valley here. So it's a pretty good rain coming down and it uh, is mixing with some snow, certainly up into the higher terrain. Look at this up around the Lincoln area, certainly just uh, north of Lincoln and then over around the Rogers Pass area, Flesher Pass, picking up some snow and this precipitation coming down pretty quickly, pretty heavily at the times. There was a little thunderstorm right around the Cascade area earlier. You can see that lightning strike right there just to the southwest of a Cascade. Some showers uh, spread out here across a lot of the state. Lewistown had a little mix of rain and snow. Uh, really, Judith Basin County got a good little wallop of some snow here last night and this morning. And more moisture for northeast Montana as well. There's the big picture, this uh, storm system that's been affecting Montana now, producing some severe weather out into the central part of the country. And here comes the next system already that will have an impact on our weekend here. So still another few hours of showers, maybe a rumble of thunder, may get a little snow, maybe a little uh, grapple mixed in there as well. But gradually things will clear out tonight. We just had a lot of moisture, right? So rain and snow with cooling temperatures getting down close to the dew point. We will likely produce some fog here tonight into tomorrow morning. So some dense fog out there. Uh, some sunshine after the fog burns off and then later into the afternoon clouds will increase and we'll maybe start to see a little in the way of some rain and snow. Light precipitation, everything that we get uh, this time of year, of course, is, uh, is good news uh, when we're looking at a drought. But uh, some light rain showers continuing into Sunday with some snow generally at about 6,000 feet and above. Not very heavy precipitation, just some light showers, maybe even a little sun mixed in there by Sunday afternoon. Additional snow as we go through the weekend. You can see up on the Continental Divide, maybe a few more inches, and out there around the big belts, the little belts, a few more inches as well. Forecast for tonight, chilly. 20s and 30s, just about the entire area, dropping down below the freezing point. Fog again will be an issue after midnight into tomorrow morning for Saturday, partly cloudy after the fog burns off. Clouds increasing late with a few showers late uh, in the evening, 7, 8, 9 o'clock. Sunday, some light showers around, a little cooler, mostly cloudy skies. Monday, actually not looking so bad. Could see a shower or thunderstorm late on Monday. And Tuesday, this was looking like a pretty good storm. Looks like more of that moisture will be headed on down towards the south. So some light showers late tomorrow and on Sunday, Monday night into Tuesday. How about that though? A big warm up here for the first week of May, 68 Wednesday, 75 Thursday.